Hey, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. We're doing Table and Abel today. Shulchan Arach Yomi, Hilacha Simen Samach Tet, 69. Hilchos Kriya Shema. We're going to learn about something today that's not often done. I don't think people practice this too much any day, uh, anymore nowadays. Um, although I'm not really sure because then the davening, sometimes the davening usually is something like the 9 o'clock minion. Sometimes after like 10 o'clock or something People start walking in and start saying Barku and things like that and saying Shmon Esther. Maybe that's what they're doing. I never was part, I never participated in this halacha. It is from the Gemara. The Gemara talks about this. The Mishnah talks about it. It's called a poris al Shema. It literally means to, poris means a, par, a portion, meaning talking about a case where people came late and they can barely find a minion. Sometimes they don't have a minion of people who didn't dive in. Uh, maybe they don't have only have six people that didn't daven, or, or the halacha is even if one person didn't daven, you can assemble a minion and do a quick. You can do barku. You, well, first you say kaddish, then you say barku. Then technically, according to the shulchan aruch, supposed to yotzer or first bracha, and you skip all the way to shmon esrei. You do the first three brachos, and you say your kedusha. So you got barku kedusha, and you got the kaddish, which are all dvarim kedusha, which you need ten people for. Um, it's sort of like an abridged version. You know, maybe maybe it's a better idea just to come at ten o'clock and get this in, get everything you need, and then the rest you down by yourself. So I'll turn the halacha. Aleph. People down by themselves. They weren't home or they couldn't find a menu. Lo shamu lo kaddish or kedusha. They didn't hear kaddish or kedusha. Omer echad mehem. Now they have ten people. Omer echad mehem. The omer kaddish u barchu. You say the kaddish right for barchu and shachris. Don't say anymore. It's called po race, a portion. It's a portion of bread, or a part of the bread, a part of the loaf of the bread. You only say the first bracha, not the second bracha, Kriyachma, and the third bracha, Gal Yisrael. Hagav Ashel and Nagel Omer called Brachas Yosher. The Ramah says you don't need to say the first bracha. Ella Omrim Kad the Shubarchu Hemon Acharav Baruch Hashem Avora. And then we'll see you continue to Shmon Esra. Yesh Omrim Shaporsh Makriya Shma Shal Arvis. What about at Marav? You can do this also. Mo Bashachas. Well, Nago came from the Lake Kaddish Kodem Barku Shal Arvis. The Minig is not to do it at Marav because there's no Kaddish before Barku. What's the significance of that? I'm going to explain that in Ian to lean on, which is the Ian Shir on Shalchan Aruch. I'll explain this further. What really is going on between Poris Al Shma? continues after they finish Yotzeror, Omer Abu Zaguros, you go straight to Shmon Esrei. The first person, he becomes a Shliach Tzibor. He says out loud the first bracha, the second bracha, O Kedusha. Ata Kadosh. He says, right, the third bracha, which is really Kedusha. And he finishes Ata Kadosh. Zen Nikra over Teva. This is called the person who is a Shliach Tzibor. He's being mostly everybody. But ain't Osin Dvarim Elu Apokhmas. Sorry, you need 10 people. We shouldn't have heavy dvarim. Should be kedusha. All these things, baruch kaddish kedusha. You need ten people. The sarak lachs are achar shisha shalosh shamo. Ideally, you have to have at least people, six people that weren't yotzei these chiyuvim already. Ha'in rov asar the yavrov. If you only have a few of a shvil echad shalosh shamo aromrim. Even if there's only one person that didn't hear baruch and kaddish and kedusha, you can do this for that one person. Imagine recruiting nine people. You got to pay them handsomely to do this. You know they have places to go, people to see. Pay them, you know, a thousand bucks each person. Afilu Mishashama, well, seriously, some people are very serious about saying Kaddish. Some people actually are, get paid to say Kaddish, not for their relatives, for other people. You know, there's a business out there. Uh, the Kaddish mongers, they, they get paid to say Kaddish for other people. For other people who don't have Kaddish, people just say Kaddish for them. They have to say them for a whole year. So let's say they miss a minion, you know, and they come at 10 o'clock. They could do this, they get paid. You know, they're getting paid like $2 million a year. So, you know, $10,000 a person is probably worth it if they miss it once or twice. I'm sure, you know, they paid $2 million a year. But I did have a friend who did this. He, he you know, Taurus was always saying Kaddish. And I was wondering, why are you saying Kaddish? And he says, yeah, people pay me to say Kaddish. Um, I think we we'll only say that if someone has started saying Kaddish by themselves and they lost a parent or something like that or a different relative when they're already saying Kaddish and then the year has passed. Then they could start saying for other people. I feel that's what he told me. I feel Mr. Shamu Yacho Lifros Al Shma Velover Lefanateva. Even someone who uh, who heard, I meaning let's say you have six people that didn't hear and four people that did hear, you can the leader could be one of the people that did hear. Uh Velover Lefanateva, but she'll also shall shama. Mikol Malcolm also shall shama. Vaki Lifros Al Shma Velover Lefanateva. One of the people are skilled and they know how to 
read from a sitter. It's better, even though we pass in Yatza Mosu. Technically, someone who's Yotze in a Bracha, he could be multi someone, even if he's already Yotze is That's why um, for Shabbos and Kiddush, you can be multi other people, even if you're Yotze, you're already Yachiv. Um, as long as you have the same level of chiv, things like that. If you, if you, um, or you would say you're a mitzvah of tkiyah shofar, you can be motzi someone else, all on brachos, because yatza motzi, the, the post can explain, the Rishon will explain, kol yitzchal arivim mitzel azeh. So, but ideally, it's better that the person who leads should be the one who was in yotze already. Hagal, misho over the teva, amar shalosh brachos arishonos, someone who did this, and he said the first three brachos, right, he's the shliach sibor for this poris al shma, he asked them, kol tefila liyasek al pishak paris bala, he should, he should silently finish the Shmona Esrei. Um, even if he was the one already dominant already, he's still, because you can't say half a Shmona Esrei. He said, first three brachos, you got to finish your Shmona Esrei. The first, the other people, they could just be mafsik. They don't, they, they, they were just, they didn't, they're not the Shlech Sibur, they didn't really say the brachos. And certainly if the person has Pori Tal Hashma, Tchila, she yashlim tefila, so he should be mashlim tefila, afal pi, even if one of the people that haven't said anything, he hasn't said Birkos Kriyashma yet, and now by doing this, he's seemingly forfeiting, saying Gula Litzvila. Some of the Gula Litzvila we think of is to say Gal Yisrael, and immediately you start Shmon Esrei. Now, when he's doing this, according to the Shulchan Aruch, all he's saying is Baruch Mu Yotzer, according to the Ramah, he's just saying Baruch Hu, and he's skipping the Shmon Esrei. So you don't have Smichas Gula Litzvila, it's still better to continue to do this. Um, I'll try to explain why an Indian to lean on because it doesn't really make sense. Some of Gula Tefillah is a big Indian, um, as I explained before in the earlier Shiurim. Also, the Hafsi Bedvarim Elu Ben Gula Tefillah Bekriya Shema Avirach Oseha. When you're in the middle of being Poris Hal Shema, um, <coughs> I mean, sorry, if you're in the middle of saying Birchos Kriya Shema, for example, you're a, a regular minion's happening, you can't stop in the middle of your Birchos Kriya Shema to start being mostly other people, they Poris Hal Shema. Right, you might think, what? Sometimes people come late to shul, so you already started Barakul. Okay, let's take a step back. We didn't get so far, and we're up to Avarab. Let's go back and start saying Kaddish for these people. I don't know. You're in the middle, you can't stop. Um... <clears throat> Uh, when it comes to Marv, she reshows Yochala Hafsik Losi Acherim de Chavasam. The Ramah says if you are Pori Talashma and Marv, um, then you could stop in the middle. Technically, you're not supposed to be, you don't have to be Pori Talashma. We'll explain why. Somebody else who's not part of the minion that's davening now, he could be Mozi them. You can't stand in the same place where the, the first chazan is. It looks like the first one did a invalid tefillah. The first shlech sir was in most of them. Venerally, they're still in the shul. They're putting away their tefillin. Uh, you can go up to the Amud and start it over there because... They left already. If they're still putting on this tefillin and you go in this place, it looks like, oh, the first tefillah wasn't, was invalid. But if they left already, it's okay. Base. Suma moros A blind person, even if he never, he was born blind, um, not only could he say the baruch of Yotzer Or, right, which the Chiddush talks about Yotzer moros, Hashem created light. If he doesn't see the light, how could he say a baruch he could even lead the tzibor in this. Because he does benefit from light, even though it directly doesn't benefit from light, but indirectly he benefits because, let's say he's going on a path at night or something like that, um, or he's going in a dangerous place. There are other people that will see him. And then obviously, the guy's walking with one of those sticks, you know, the blind sticks, but I don't know what they're called exactly. He'll see the guy and he'll say, listen, don't walk into the tree, don't walk into the pit, you know, don't walk into the stop sign. So... He'll see him, so therefore he benefits from being light, from someone else having a flashlight, or for the daylight he benefits, but other people will say, listen, stop where you're walking, go get a better walking stick, and don't proceed, don't don't pass, go, do not collect $200, just walk in a different direction, they'll tell him, so he benefits from the light. 
So therefore, not only could he be say the Baruch Yotza or he could even be Poris Al Shema and he could even be Mosi Acherim the Echlasa because he's a Baruch Yuva. There is a machlokas in the Gemara in Baba Kama whether Suma is Chayiv in the mitzvahs. I believe we pass her. Who does says Suma is Potter in our mitzvahs? Uh, we hold Suma is Chayiv in the mitzvahs. <coughs> And likewise, he's, there's a, a question, even if you have the missus, maybe you also RC can't be high because it doesn't apply to him. So that's what the Gemara teaches in Megillah, that it does apply to him also. As we conclusion of today's shir, stay tuned for Ian to lean on, where we talk more about this halacha, I mean, Poris Shema. what exactly are you doing coming up next?